Good evening, friends. Stephen Benoon here with this <clears throat> Rayleigh really News Live, and uh, we're here on Patreon, and of course, I'll probably end up making this public in a day or two here, but uh, this is the video I was telling you that I wanted to speak to you about. All the different images that we've been getting, what is that really about? Of course, I've got up here on the screen for you to start with uh, Twitter changing their name over to X. Uh, you know, this post here, Elon Musk has completed the purchase of the transformation of Twitter into X. Do you think it's a subliminal message about Planet X? Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, X.com. <clears throat> Elon Musk founded that X.com uh, program. You know, it's funny thing is, actually, a friend of mine knows Elon. And uh, so I think I'm going to ask that question of him. Is all this X.com, uh, Twitter, X, etc., is that a subliminal message? Makes me wonder, right? I wonder about you guys. Anyway, I, I did get a wonderful video sent to me, too, by a brother, uh, 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 Dave Dobbs. I haven't really had a chance to listen to the entire video yet there. He goes into a binary system coming through. Uh, some very interesting information, so I do want to dive deeper into that, so I want to Think the brother that sent that to me there uh, but going back here one of the things that I wanted to share with you is all these images that I have been given um, here over some time uh, and, and continue to get more and more and more coming in uh, so brother just sent some in to me tonight and I apologize I forget this brother's name he's taking a picture of the moon tonight and here you can see that that object there lowered down. Of course, his cloud cover is obscuring some of the views of the photos there. It seems to be one there and one here both uh, in the images that he's sharing. And then, of course, uh, our friends there, uh, Kim in, uh, in Australia, also you can see the object there. Uh, and, uh, and, and just more and more and more. And even up here by the moon, just to the left side there and closer to the right side. Uh, these objects appearing, these these uh, celestial objects that are appearing. Now that appears to be more like a star right there, uh, but nonetheless uh, fairly large uh, and, and and maybe normal. Uh, I can't I can't say for sure on that one there. Let me just see what else we had here. As the brother had sent that earlier, uh, the, these images there, but then he had a little bit better ones there that he sent to me tonight. Um, but at any rate there, you know, I've been getting a lot of good images coming in. Uh, I've got, let's see, what do we have here? Oh, this is a very nice thing too. This is actually a sister that we had on here before. Uh, if you remember, she had shared some photos with us there of the UFO there in California. She hadn't seen this thing for about a year. And then suddenly, uh, that UFO here in the back back there, if you'll notice that circle, appeared again. This time she videos it and you can see the pulsation of this uh, craft. And I remember, if I remember right, she actually spoke about that, that it was like it would pulsate uh, as it was there upon the mountain. So uh, I do find that very interesting and uh, hopefully we can get her back on before too much longer here to, uh, to speak about that, share some more information about that particular uh, incident there. Let me just see, though, what else we had here. No, we still see the, 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 the body right there as well. But, uh, but anyway, all right, so I had to do some research through Intel circles that I'm involved with there to see what does all this mean. Is this Planet X? Is some of the, um, you know, in fact, if you go back, let's see here. If we go back to some of the earlier <clears throat> images that we were first getting, um, that was one of my big questions, especially in the case of this one right here, because of the size of this image there on the screen. You know, I didn't think that's Planet X per se, but is it like one of the moons? Is it one of the debris? Or what? I mean, of course, if that's debris, look at the size of it in comparison with the moon. Massive object there. Well, one of the things that I was told is that the images that I was sharing with, with uh, some of the Intel people I work with there, said that um, 
It's of course it was amateur. They they have seen the images of these things already, uh, you know, more professionally. And of course, naturally, if you've got that ability to be able to photograph these things, you are going to see it more professionally. But uh, but at any rate, one of the things that that I was told though that uh, is the weather anomalies. Uh, there is a precursor of very strange weather, and that's only going to get worse uh, as we are seeing the things that are happening right now. And uh, so, you know, I just pulled up this, this site here just, just kind of as a reminder of some of the odd weather we have had this year here in the United States, tornadoes, floods, flash floods, uh, record-breaking temperatures now. Uh, but everything you can possibly imagine, especially floods all across the United States, uh, torrential downpours, uh, massive winds, etc. And this is only going to get worse, I was told. But also that, uh, too, that uh, said that what we're actually seeing here is there is an alignment of celestial bodies in preparation of, uh, of, a, of a heavenly body similar to that of a muamua. Uh, not a muamua itself, but another heavenly body that is causing, uh, or, or, uh, you know, or it's a pattern that seems to be happening of an alignment being caused by this other celestial body that is coming in. And, uh, and yet it is a more powerful celestial body. Uh, and it is also thought that a muamua uh, could, you know, you know, like this body is similar to that of muamua, that that could be the culprit of what we are seeing. But these are the reasons why we're seeing these heavenly bodies in places that they normally are not. It's forcing these objects, uh, these these systems, these uh, whether it be rocks, moons, whatever, into positions that we're not used to seeing. Another th uh, thought is, too, is that there is a sun that has exploded that may be causing these issues as well. And, um, but as I was told that, you know, this is going to continue to cause strange anomalies on the earth, and weather is just one of those strange anomalies. Another thing that I was told that, is, that this is that's being created by this is like in the case down there by us in Saudi Arabia, they are seeing, and this happened in June 2023, uh, locust insects of biblical proportions, but locusts that are totally unknown to any kind of species we've ever seen before. Uh, and that's what's happening down in Saudi Arabia. These are, if you notice on there, weird insects in Medina today at far time, 2nd of June 2023. Uh, and nobody knows what they are, where they're from, and, uh, you know, what are the risks of these things? So, so anyway, they're, they're, they're having, there's so many weird things that are going on. The other thing I was told, too, is that this celestial objects are having such a grave effect on human beings that, uh, that it's causing uh, people to become more angry, more more uh, violent as well. Those things are happening. And also that animals are growing at unbelievable sizes, especially in the reptilians. But of course, it was also brought up to me about the sharks. Now this here, according to the sun, this particular video right here, you know why um, shark looks like. This is supposed like to be a 50 year old fish, like a, well this is a 50 year old female pounds. shark right here she's that is uh, 17 foot long. Cycles, which means she's and she's considered to be a, a massive, massive great white for her size are, and, and, you know, and age for a female. And, and of course she does. She looks huge, mean, especially when you know, people are standing beside her. But then again, if you remember, I share with you too, this photo here of a great white 50 foot long. You heard that right. 50 foot long, great white. The Japanese had caught, and I mean, this is like a megalodon type of great white. Uh, and, and there again, there is a suspicion that some of this is being caused from that. Uh, but anyway, another thing that is going on too uh, that a lot of people are not aware of is that we have living organisms that are coming through the lava uh, in the earth, organisms that we've never seen before. And uh, it is also believed that as this alignment has taken place and as these celestial bodies 
are moving in that we could see as part of one of these weather anomalies the earth literally crack open and if you remember i said that the uh, movie underwater that came out in 2020 was uh, was one such type creature. It was a, actually a movie based on uh, facts where it was like a Godzilla type of creature that came through one of these underwater caverns from the inner earth to this side. Well, they're also talking about creatures, just monstrosity of creatures that could come up through the cracks in the earth as well. And that's something that, uh, that I've been told that they're anticipating over the next five years that that could play that could happen. And that also one of the things that's causing these things is CERN. CERN is really playing a major effect into that. We have the EU, basically all the NATO partners, the US, Swiss, etc., dabbling with CERN. And of course, we know there's more than one hydrogen collider. And uh, another big issue about this, and I'm probably going to deal with this in a separate video altogether, is the dimensions. Uh, we are already starting to see a dimensional change where, uh, and this is going to become more and more prevalent in the next year or so, uh, where we're fading in and out of the dimension that we live in, and as well, there will be other creatures, aliens and beings and things of that nature that will fade in and out into our own dimension. Now that, again, is being uh, greatly increased by CERN, what CERN is doing, uh, and as well uh, because of the threat of the magnetosphere collapsing, and this is something that the ETs have said to us that will happen, that once that magnetosphere collapses, we are going to see a merger of dimensions, and uh, you will find that yourself that you could fade from the dimension you're in, and then the next thing that you know, suddenly you're seeing into another dimension, another world, completely all together. One other thing, friends, that I meant, uh, almost forgot to mention, and I need to double back to this as well when we're talking about this uh, planetary alignment. And I'm going to go to, um, oh goodness, where was it here? Let me, uh, oh goodness. Well, I guess I lost that video there that I had up earlier there. The brother that uh, had sent that to me where they were showing. He did some very interesting uh, uh, graphics there, but we'll skip that for now. But anyway, what I wanted to come back to, to you on is that these, these planetary alignments, if you will, uh, that's being caused uh, by a, a larger celestial body out there that's coming that celestial body is an alien planet uh, or alien celestial body. And one thing that uh, has also been impressed very strongly is that we know that we're going to have a visitation from that particular body that's coming in. Uh, so there is a strong speculation that what we are seeing right now with these different planetary bodies that are being seen up in space is only a precursor to the things that are coming and that it's only causing different celestial bodies to, to move into alignment, things that we have never seen before. <clears throat> so even in these disclosures that we see, like I have on the screen here, intelligent officers, uh, essentially confirm aliens are real. David Grush, the former U.S. Air Force, etc. Um, and these different things that are coming out before Congress. I've been told for a long time that this disclosure was coming. Uh, I've shared that with you more than a year ago, that these disclosures would be coming. They're trying to prepare you for what's inevitable. And so I'm even saying to you now, you're going to see a lot more in the not so distant future, not just these Godzilla looking creatures, like in the case of the uh, movie, and I'll just pull that up so you can see that underwater, uh, the 2020 movie uh, that, that, you know, where we have that one right there. This, this film uh, was based on a real life scenario. And uh, it is, you know, the, the sad thing is, is that there really was 
a creature that uh, was beneath the sea. Of course, different ocean altogether from where they show it in there. And of course, the way the creature di uh, dies was not according to the way they put it. He was killed using attack dolphins. Um, so we've got more of these coming up through the Earth. Then you got these extraterrestrials coming in from space. Uh, and yes, there are extraterrestrials that live in the oceans. We, and I've been told about many of the different bases that they have down there. Uh, the one up there near Alaska, the, there's actually a, a, a mermaid base, so to speak, uh, down near off the coast of California around San Diego area. Uh, all kinds of these, I mean, things that you could just never even possibly imagine. Uh, you know, I actually shared a lot of information over there with Daniel Oat on his program called The Edge Broadcast, and I'll try to put a link to that uh, interview that we did there. Daniel Oat is really a, a pleasure being on with him, uh, and uh, hopefully Lieutenant Colonel Greg Ridgen uh, will actually end up doing a three-way before long, and I think that's going to be very interesting. I know as crazy as these things sound, um, I can see where a lot of that could be very true. Uh, what I think I'm going to do is we're going to keep this video here on Patreon, but what I'll do is I'll double back. I want to take and examine some of these things biblically to see if there is something that may be out there uh, biblically, maybe in, in maybe even Dead Sea Scrolls. We might find it in some of the other writings there to see if there's any links in the ancient document world that I study in uh, that might give us some clue as to these events and these occurrences coming. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live here on Patreon. Thank you, and thank you for your support.